whole genome sequenced, and 60% of my DNA is German, so at least 60% of me is very excited to, to be here today. <laughs> so, uh, but I'm from the Icon School of Medicine at, at Mount Sinai. So Mount, Mount Sinai is a large health system in New York City. Believe it or not, our patient population is larger than the entire population of Berlin, just to put things in, in perspective. So we really, uh, why I like that is because it gives us a lot of data to work with. And some of the fundamental questions I ask myself every day, and by the way, we still don't know the answers to these questions, in my opinion, is what is health? We currently define health as lack of things that we call diseases. Seems like a pretty poor answer at this point. What is disease? I would argue we really don't know the answer to that question yet. And what is wellness? But I think we don't know the answer to any of these questions. So this is what really motivates me every day to collect information and, and try to answer these questions. And the one thing I appreciate in everything we try to uh, accomplish in answering these questions is that humans are profoundly complex and that we must embrace this complexity that underlies human physiology, right? So if I just think of one cell in the body, we have three billion base pairs of DNA which are creating thousands of different RNAs, picoRNAs, mRNAs, eRNAs, link RNAs, not just the one mRNA you learned in your high school biology book. We're whirling around, binding to the DNA, creating thousands of proteins, combining with each other, binding back and regulating the DNA, creating thousands of metabolites. Inside one cell, we have a constellation of many layers of interactions. We haven't left a single cell yet, right? And then cells communicate with each other in layers of networks. They form tissues. Tissues communicate with each other in another layer of networks. Organ systems are another layer of networks, and the environment interacts with the system, right? So it's networks upon networks upon networks, which really underlie complex human physiology. Humans are complex adaptive systems. And what is a complex adaptive system? It's a well-understood phenomenon in physics and in uh, mathematics. They evolve over time, there's interactions, the whole is greater than the sum of the parts. And we know with complex adaptive systems, you cannot understand the whole system by looking at its parts, yet we continually try to do that in biology and medicine. And who said this was an investment banker in Harvard Business Review. So it's as much grief as we give the finance people, they have a really good understanding of complex systems compared to biologists and clinicians. So.